All right, now, you do write about the value of optimism, and I have believed in this for a very long period of time. Just, you know, I've probably done 25,000 interviews uh, over the course of, of 30 years in this business. Upbeat people are much easier to be with, and so I assume they're much easier to be with themselves as well. Uh, but you have clinical proof of this. Oh, no question. I mean, they do about 20% better across the board in clinical trials by either having a belief system or an optimism, and they normally go hand in hand together. So how do you, if you haven't got that, how do you, you know, there's that famous line in uh, uh, Chariots of Fire, I can't put in what God left out when the Springer asked uh, the coach to make him fast. How do you put optimism into Eeyore? You know, optimism is something that you don't have to be born with. I think we can all acquire it. And we have to approach problems differently. There's a positive to every issue going on as well as a negative. And you choose yourself what to focus on. And we all see it. Some people look at the glass half empty, others half full. And we have to be that half full guy or half full gal because that's how we're going to have a better impact on our health. Clear and simple. You want to live long and well, this is one of the ways you have to figure out a way to do it. And it's just, you know, smiling. I mean, if you smile, I mean, try it now. You smile, your body feels differently. You know, it takes many more muscles, by the way, to frown than to smile. But you smile, you get a release of neurohormones in your body.